A new business approach is emerging in the digital economy. Born from a fusion of new technology and creative capabilities, it brings together core IT skills with the arts and humanities with dynamic results. It began with a report called The Fuse, which looked at how bringing together creativity and technology can make for more successful businesses. We call these businesses superfused. We tested this theory with the Brighton Fuse research, which found hard empirical evidence showing how connecting the arts, humanities and design with creative, digital and IT skills enhances business creativity, innovation and growth. If you want to understand whether there's real value in bringing together learnings from the arts with um, technology, then Brighton is the place to test that proposition. It has a strong arts community, strong arts organisations, and it has a very fast-growing digital and technology cluster. As the results of Brighton Fuse began to emerge, we found this fusion of digital skills with the arts and humanities existed in the city. Brighton is a cluster comprising fused and superfused individuals running extraordinary high growth businesses. Superfused individuals network frequently and place great emphasis on creativity and business innovation, with 65% combining creative design and technology with new business processes. A key finding is that many entrepreneurs in the tech sector do not have a tech or business background. In fact, one in three who started a creative, digital and IT business has an arts and humanities degree. What is it about these individuals that makes them good at problem solving, innovating and adding value in the digital sector? It became clear that organisations that brought together learning from the arts, humanities and design with technology were more successful than those that didn't. Superfused businesses appear to grow nearly three times faster than unfused businesses and 40% faster than the average UK CDIT firm. So what do these businesses look like? 99% of them engage in at least one type of innovation, with 35% willing to disrupt their processes, demonstrating the intensity of their quest for innovation. Superfused firms are over three times more likely than unfused businesses to be involved in all types of innovation, including staff training, new products and services, new processes, content for copyright, new code and new business models. The Superfused cluster is a diverse ecosystem that includes a network of like-minded people made up of superfused businesses and individuals who frequently attend cultural, artistic and technology meetups, collaborate with other businesses and individuals, network and socially interact on a business level, innovate and adapt constantly as part of their DNA. The Superfused cluster collaborates to innovate and diffuses knowledge and expertise. If you're a small business, you look to um, industry knowledge from your compatriots and your colleagues and people outside the business but are working in the same space. You look to draw together um, businesses uh, who have got complementary skills so they can work on projects together. And you look to learn from each other about best practice and how to keep your skills updated. How can we learn from these findings? We need to challenge tradition. We can't continue to make money in the tech sector and invest it in the arts. The two must be fused at a deeper level. The UK was the first to do this in the late 80s and early 90s. But then there was no Google, no Wikipedia, and Apple was just a computer manufacturer. Superfused businesses appear to grow nearly three. The way we currently structure education obstructs the processes that can drive growth and innovation. Universities struggle when creating cross-disciplinary courses. Skills councils tend to be divided down sector lines. We need to start from the bottom up to make these changes. 
There's also a very important role for membership organisations to act as innovation and knowledge brokers within a high-growth, creative, digital cluster. The conclusion is, is clear, really, that um, superfused companies and a superfused cluster and superfused individuals are really crucial to the UK's future and the UK's growth. The Brighton Fuse research provides deep empirical evidence to help future growth and innovation, not only in Brighton, but also across the UK. National, business and industry leaders, policy makers, local authorities and senior managers in universities can all learn a lot from these findings. The report turns on its head conventional understanding of the importance of arts and humanities to the digital economy and points to a future that is superfused.